Good evening, everyone. How's it going? Here is another junk journal that I put together using the hardcover of a book, some rings, and just tied some ribbon to it. And then for charms, added the safety pin and another little tiny safety pin. And then the little charms that I got at Joanne Fabrics. On the inside, we have a pocket and a place to do some journaling. This was a card that I just did some hole punches out of. It was an experiment that I was trying out, and this was the leftovers. This is an envelope, a little tuck spot here, and a little place for some more journaling or stamping. Or you can take it out entirely and put your own thing in there. And then on the inside, I have a place for some more writing. And then this was a knife sheath, and I just glued some paper on it, and had this piece left over, which I made into a tag, and then you can write maybe a quote or something on there. And then that just goes there. And then it's still inside. On the back, I have another little tuck spot here and some more writing space. Giant tag. These are pages from a book for bookkeeping. So, as this is a book that hopefully somebody will keep, I thought that was pretty cute. And you can use. Um, gesso or paint uh, on these pages or glue something onto it and then just some plain cardboard from some packaging this was a failed page and it has this envelope attached a little paper clip you can stick something under there and then on the back is a pocket with this insert you just sit over and I had pasted some of this really old paper. It is very brittle, so that's why I pasted it onto this insert so it would show the vintageiness without falling apart. And then a little pocket here with a tag, and then some space for some more writing. And then some more packaging stuff. On this side, I didn't cover it because I really liked that. But of course, whoever gets this can cover it to their heart's content. And then an envelope here. Some more pages for writing or stamping. Acetate pocket. You might recognize this from a different video I have. This was a die cut that I was going to throw away. But I thought, man, what a waste. So I kept it and then uh, had some acetate. And I'm like, oh, I can make this into a pocket. And then just this little scrap paper here. And because the, the paper was long, it just folded over and then made it into a tuck spot. Some more packaging material. And then on this side... I have another little insert here. You can write a quote or something. This was also a failed page and it has a little tag in its text spot. This page just has a little flip up right there. Pretty simple. Plain pocket here and then just insert. And then on this side has a fold out right here and then another pocket with this uh, tag that I pasted paper on, put on a, like a fabric washi tape and then it opens up to, you could do some journaling or it can be kind of like a file folder maybe. Pasted some papers, a little collage on here, and then just another tag. 
spot area there. Some vintage paper that, again, was very, very brittle. And so I pasted it to a stiffer paper and then just dusted over it. And then on the other side, uh, I believe this was a flyer, actually. Um, and then on the other side, pasted another plain paper for writing or stamping, what have you. And then the back cover has giant tag in it, in its pocket, and that is it. That's my book. I hope you enjoyed it. I really like making these, actually, um, and it's a good excuse to go out and buy some more supplies and materials because so many pages in here, like this one, for example, come from that, so... Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and have a good rest of your night or morning or afternoon or wherever you are. Thanks. Bye.